We're in the Mining Weekly Online studio with Dr. Anthony Turton, an expert on mine water, mine water pollution, and the environment. Hi, Anthony. Thanks very much for coming into the studio. Pleasure to be here. We're looking at the situation of a lot of rain at the moment. Yes. And we also have a, a tradition in this area over 100 years of having dug big holes. Absolutely. And those are filling with more water. Yes. What do you think the consequence is going to be? Well, the latest information that I have is that uh, the mine water is rising in the void um, at the rate of the central basin void I'm talking about now, at the rate of just under half a meter a day. We now about 90 meters below the lowest workings of central rand gold. What we need in the, in the very near future now is public domain, ac public access to, to ongoing information about the rate of rise and, uh, and uh, maps that show the actual physical layout. The, the information that was generated by the original assessment of the uh, decant uh, suggested that when all of the uh, mining basins are decanting, uh, the water flowing into the Vaal River will be about 3% of the flow into the Vaal at, at uh, three rivers, but will contribute to 25% to the salt load. So it's not the volume that's important, it's the salt. In the ballpark figure from the Western Basin, for every liter of water coming out as AMD, there's three to four grams of salt, sulfate salt. At the moment, there, let's call it 50 megaliters, that's 50 million liters a day, 50 million liters a day times four grams of salt, that's the load of, of salt that's going into the environment. That's the problem. It's the salt uh, and it's all the other metals that will eventually precipitate out along the river, but ultimately it will sterilize that, uh, that aquatic environment. Isn't there an opportunity here? We are a nation of miners. Here you talk about metals and minerals inside this water. You talk about salt. We need the salt. Can't we mine this blessed water? Yes, we can. In fact, I, I'm, I'm talking at the moment to a very interesting entrepreneur, um, uh, the whole issue of iron exchange. Uh, there's there, there one or two iron exchange companies out there now. Iron exchange is a very exciting new technology, I think. It still needs some development. But uh, what iron exchange does is it actually mines the water. It, it captures the, the, you know, the, the chemical elements out of the water. And uh, I think there's a lot of uh, space for that. We're also probably going to see a, a, a lot of drivers coming through for uh, 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 different water treatment technologies. Uh, from a mining perspective, the real big thing to look at right now is to do with phosphate. Phosphate is in dwindling supply. You mine water from sewage. And you have as a byproduct from that process phosphate. The phosphates uh, come from personal care products, shampoos, uh, uh, soaps your sewage works will start becoming phosphate mines and if you link that now to the acid mine drainage problem one of the key problems in the current thinking around acid mine drainage is that the volumes are relatively small so the economic models don't work but if you start increasing the volumes by combining streams in other words you now get your AMD stream combined with your wastewater your sewage water stream suddenly you you treble or quadruple the volumes and now you have a, a viable dual stream reticulation economy now we miss pricing water absolutely at what level do you think we should be pricing our water the good news uh, story in mine water is imalakleni bhp billiton and, and angler coal i don't know why they don't make more noise about this because this is a major good news story this is world-class technology where they've take a me taken membrane technology they've cleaned up nasty nasty acid mine drainage uh, 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 the cost is about, about 10 to 12 rand a cubic meter. So if we get our price of water right, 10 to 12 rand a cube, suddenly you can, you can use that AMD for potable purposes, but through the appropriate technologies. But if we simply look at the realistic price of water as determined by Imalakleni right now, 10, 10 to 12 rand a cubic meter, suddenly uh, this entire AMD problem just disappears overnight. It, in fact, it goes from being a problem to being a major asset. That was Dr. Anthony Turton uh, telling us about the challenges that lie ahead and giving us an idea of how these challenges can be met.